Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette, this is my dad Gary, and we're gonna do another episode of Gary's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be doing his roasted potatoes, which are fabulous, and even the omnivores that ate these went back for seconds and thirds. So he's gonna do this, and then we are going to talk a little bit about where we're at seven years after starting a plant-based diet. I have a simple recipe for uh roasted potatoes. So I uh, concocted a little recipe for some roasted potatoes. Uh, they're great at picnics, great for lunch, barbecues, uh, anything. Uh, so here we go. First I'm going to show you something that we need to have uh, during any recipe. Um, Clemson Ale. The first recipe we're going to do is for some regular white potatoes, uh, russet potatoes. Uh, and just uh, take uh, as many as you like and chop them up into triangles. Uh, so are these raw potatoes? These are raw potatoes that I I put them in, uh, soak them in water, uh, actually overnight to remove a lot of the starch, uh, uh, the stickiness to them. And you can, you can or don't have to do that, but I prefer to do it that way. So what I, what I originally do is I take a, a mixture of uh, teriyaki sauce, some Bragg's liquid aminos, and a little bit of liquid smoke, and I put them in a container uh, with a little garlic powder in it maybe, and uh, throw my potatoes in there and just thoroughly mix them up in it. Uh, with that done, now comes uh, the piece of resistance. Some min minced garlic. Uh, use as much, uh, as many jars as you'd like with each batch. And just uh, mix them up. You can, do it, you can do this in a bowl or do it right in the pan. And I hit them with a little pepper. Now I used to have a, a colorful uh, pepper mill, but like the Erie Canal, it got a little old and served its purpose. Uh, so my wife got me this... Uh, New gizmo. I had an old pepper mill, his name was Sal, 15 years on the Erie Canal. Now, preheat the oven to 425, and these are going to cook for 30 to 40 minutes. Just check them halfway through the cooking and maybe uh, mix them up a little bit. I want to show you the sweet potatoes. And this is one fairly large sweet potato that I cut into triangles again. I like triangles better than squares for some reason. I never wanted to be a square. With this, garlic again, of course. Bam, and I mix these up a little bit. And I go, when the garlic cooks down a little bit, it's going to give that wonderful smell to the entire kitchen. What I add to the sweet potatoes, instead of marinating them in the uh, liquid aminos and the teriyaki, I'm just gonna throw a little maple syrup, uh, drizzle a little maple syrup on top. And then mix them up thoroughly again. Now the next, I, I wanna sprinkle these with a little cin ground cinnamon. Uh, you don't have to overdo it. Just nice little coating. Now I'm going to cook these uh, at the same temperature as the regular potatoes, uh, but what I found for some reason, keep your eye on the sweet potatoes because they tend to cook a little faster for some reason. Uh, so just uh, so that you don't want them to burn obviously. So My sweet potatoes wouldn't fit in the, with the in the oven at the same time, so we'll, we'll cook those up and show you what they look like uh, at the end of the video. But that's how you process them. And uh, again, cook them for 30 to 40 minutes and keep an eye on them, mix them up, and you'll have wonderful uh, potatoes for your uh, dinner or outing. Mm. Okay, uh, this is midway through cooking. Just wanna stir them up a little bit. Uh, Coming along nicely, uh, 
Now what I kind of want to do is spritz them a little bit. And I've got some uh, liquid aminos and some teriyaki, a little garlic I mixed up and put it in here in a spritz bottle. Okay, now we'll shove these guys back in here, finish cooking. So it's been uh, about 20 minutes, so another 10 to 15 minutes, we'll just keep an eye on them and they should be done and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I thought we'd talk a little bit about where we are seven years after starting a plant-based diet. We started in 2013, around August, right? Yes. So for those of you who are new here and don't know our story, I will link a video in the description box below of me talking about why we went plant-based in the first place. We did it for our health, really for his health, because my dad had some serious health problems and doctors really couldn't fix it any longer. So I did some internet sleuthing and came across a plant-based diet. We figured, what could it hurt? And then I started eating this way in support of him. And what ended up happening is, how much weight did you lose? I lost, well, it was close to 80 pounds, between 70 and 80. Uh, I ended up, my low, my low was 190. I, I weighed 185 in high school and I was an athlete throughout the high school and college. And I was actually over 300 pounds at one point. Uh, and when my, uh, when Jeanette got married and my son got married, I ended up losing 60 pounds. Well, actually I've lost 60 pounds three times in my lifetime and gained it all back. Since we were on uh, this plant-based Whole Foods, I haven't fluctuated more than five pounds either way. And I don't starve myself. I eat till I'm full and I stop. And uh, so weight control is one advantage to, uh, to, to this diet. Well, it's not really a diet, it's a lifestyle. Um, I lost 70 pounds uh, in about a year and a half, but I have gained about 15 pounds back and I think that I look pretty good. I mean, I feel good at this point. You're gonna be 70 next month. Yeah. I'm gonna be 47 next month. Uh, a lot of people ask us how old we are. Um, I feel great. I go for several mile walks several times a week. You can you work 60 hours a week on an off shift and you run circles around everybody at work. So I mean, we, we feel great. And I think that's the, that's the key, you know. Everybody uh, obsesses about how they look, but in the, the bottom line is how do you feel, you know. If, if you don't, if you look pretty good and you, you don't feel good, you have stomach uh, problems or or whatever it might be, uh, diet can uh, can alleviate a lot of uh, issues that you have. And with a plant-based diet, I can honestly say that I feel a lot better than I did seven, eight years ago. I'm, I'm trimmer, you know, I have a lot more energy. I can say that my weight increased about probably a year and a half ago, I would say, right? Yeah. A little bit. Um, but that's where I've stayed. So I have to say that this way of eating has been really sustainable for us. It's been, it's just a way of life. We don't even think about it anymore. So that was a key too, was sustainability. Yes, if, you, if, if you're trying to change your eating culture, it isn't done overnight. If you try it and you, you you fall off a little bit, just get get back on it. You know, get back on the bike and keep riding it cause, because it takes a while. But when you're you'll know when you're there because all of a sudden your your desires for certain foods will fade away, and uh, you'll incorporate other things into your diet. Then make and when you eat, you'll feel better. You won't feel stuffed and bloated, and you'll actually be invigorated after you eat, and you'll be full. We are far from perfect, and we don't eat strictly whole food. We do eat processed foods like pizza dough and crackers, and you know what I mean—that kind of stuff. A lot of tofu. He makes seitan, uh, which is uh, made from vital wheat gluten, and it makes like a meat-like loaf, right? That you can yes. slice up. Uh, we're not perfect by any means. The way this this way of eating is really nice because you can really tailor it to whatever you need. If you have a lot of vascular disease, you might want to be a little bit 
more careful and follow maybe Dr. Esselstyn or uh, Dr. Dean Ornish, for instance. And you know, you might want to eliminate oils altogether. You have to decide what's best for you. If you are looking to shed a lot of weight, you know, maybe John McDougall's the starch solution might be something you want to look at, or you want to just eat more plants. You know, you know that eating more vegetables and fruits is good for you and you want to have meatless Monday, you can do that. If you want to go full on vegan, you can do that. I mean, it, it's, it's, you can do whatever you want to do basically to suit your needs. And I like, I like that about this. Yeah, there's so, there's so many people that have written so many things and have done so many different things to lose weight, look better, uh, feel better, etc. I mean, you can you can browse through these things. We're just one living example of of it. It, it can happen, and it can happen for a certain reason. We did, it doesn't happen because we kept eating meat and fish and milk and and all that stuff, cheeses. It happened because we changed our culture. Uh, now that when you watch this, you might not like some of the things that we make. You might have tried them and say, nah, I don't like this. Well, there's all other options out there. Just take a look at them and, and try them. And that's the key word is try them often. And and you'll see that uh, when you feel better, you're gonna to adapt to, to, to some of these techniques. And that's the key ingredient, feel better. That's just it though. Like you'll know after like your what you eat really affects how you feel i mean i don't i think very few people would argue with that and you have to kind of i do this like i'll gauge it if i eat food that's too rich too often i don't feel all that great i feel you know sluggish weighed down and then i'll gradually gravitate back to maybe you know lighter foods like salads and fruits and that kind of stuff and and eat more of that uh you know what i mean and, and get away from like so much tofu and avocado and all the rich stuff so that's kind of how it like ebbs and flows really it, it's you, you can tailor it to you know how you feel and the goals that you want to attain and you, you'll see the you'll see the results just look at the mirror you'll see them and, and you'll feel them so this doesn't apply so much to you but it did to me and it, and it might resonate with somebody else out there but body image was this thing that i struggled with for a long time you might not even know this but in my 20s, I, I, was, uh, I was working out like three hours a day and I was obsessing over every single thing I ate. It just was not, it wasn't pleasurable. It was a chore really. And then throughout my 30s, I gained 80 pounds and then adopted a plant-based diet. And I got down to about 145 pounds and I'm about five foot seven and I was pretty thin. Um, and then I wanted to get even thinner after that because I still had this mentality that I needed to be thin and ripped And so I started working out with a personal trainer and I would start and stop and start and stop and go to the gym and then not go It was never anything that I really stuck with um, And now I have a as you guys probably saw in the last video. There is a very special man in my life and he actually um, appreciates a woman with some curves if I may and so when he met me, he said, you don't need to lose any more weight. <laughs> it's made my skin look a little bit nicer too, right? Like, it's, it, I, I, don't, I don't know. A lot of people tell me I look a lot younger than I am, which is great, I'll take it. Um, um, but... She used to be the makeup guru of Central New York. <laughs> and now I don't think she needs a drop of makeup because of uh, the way her skin looks, to be honest with you. My skin looks really... Uh... <laughs> It looks pretty. Uh, uh. I think you look great for seventy. Uh, I need a couple lifts, <laughs> but it's. Uh, I feel good. I Bottom do too. line, feel good. Yep, I do too. So I actually just kind of said, "F it, I'm not gonna keep striving for some unattainable." Well, it comes I didn't out of say her mouth sometimes. It's didn't say the word. I'm not going to keep striving for some unattainable body that, you know, you know, society or whoever out there says I should look like. I, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm old enough now where I'm just like, I like who I am. I like how I look. I feel good. And I can do all the things that I enjoy doing. I can enjoy great food. I can enjoy time out with my family and friends. And it's wonderful. I finally have a good relationship with food, it feels like. Yes. And so do I. And so can you.
So this, this is the finished product. Uh, they're, uh, you can leave them in if you like them a little bit crispy. Uh, they're, uh, they're very tender and very flavorful. And uh, I left the, the sweet potatoes are still in there because I couldn't get them all in the, in the oven at the same time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you make these potatoes, let us know how they turned out. We always love to hear when you guys make uh, the, the foods that we do here. Um, I, that, I guess that's it. See you next time. Yep, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Boy, it's hot in here. <laughs>